Good Day Grade of St. Ignatius of Loyola, we are now on week number 2 for contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. But before we start with our new lesson, let us have first a prayer. The next part of our discussion is all about the Philippine artists who contributed or made major contribution, contributions in the field of the dance. So let's start with the different artists which are the which are Francisca Reyes Aquino, Ramon Obusan, Alice Reyes, and Leonor Gonquinco. So let's start with Francisca Reyes Aquino. So Francisca Reyes Aquino was declared or was tagged as the pioneer for the Philippine folk dance. So, bakit kaya siya tinag as the Philippine folk dance pioneer? Because he created a thesis or a book entitled Philippine Folk Dances and Games. So, dito nga uh, nilahad yung iba't ibang uh, or yung mga rich na folk dance natin and yung mga traditional games sa book na to which are widely used by different teachers and the students in different public and private school. So, kinumpayan nila lahat, gumawa siya ng studies about the different dances, which are folk dances, and then created a thesis for it. That's why she was tagged as the Philippine Folk Dance Pioneer. Next one is Ramon Obusan. Okay? Who is Ramon Obusan and what is the contribution in the field of dance. So, Ramon Obusan was uh, a dancer, a choreographer, okay? a dancer, a choreographer, a stage designer, and artistic director. Okay, so marami siya. Halos uh, buong production na or buong part ng pelikula or ng theater play ay siya yung gumagawa. So, dancer siya. Pwede na siyang choreographer, stage designer, yung production, and director then director. So, ayan siya. Makikita nyo, uh, he is also playing uh, some musical instruments and directing different uh, theater acts. So, promoted ethnic dance. So, kung di ba kanina parang meron siyang equivalence kanina dun sa discussion natin, uh, may, ang kanyang... Uh, pin remote naman is the ethnic dance. So ang kanyang mga works is uh, uh, works includes Kayao 68, Kayao 74. Uh, ang ibig sabihin nun yung date or, or year kung kailan siya ni release. Bamo sa Belen series, uh, Noon Post Amin, Kasaysayan ng Lahi, Maynila, and the Rare and Unpublished Dances. So marami siyang dances na kinoreograph and marami siyang theatrical plays na Dinirekto. So, that is for Ramon Arevalo Obusan. Next one is Alice Reyes. So, what is uh, all about this woman? Okay, so let us explore. So, parang uh, hindi nyo ba siyang mukha si Alice Garcia Reyes? So, she creatively interweaved Philippine ethnic dance, modern dance, and ballet, producing one kind of contemporary dance routine. Okay, so imagine... Uh, dati kasi, di ba, po, kung balay ka lang, balay ka lang, uh, modern dance ka lang, modern dance ka lang, ethnic dance, ethnic dance. Pero siya, uh, she strongly or um, uh, maganda niyang sinadjust na pwede palang pagsamasamahin yung tatlong different kinds of dances and produce one contemporary dance. May mga tinatawag tayo ngayon mga contemporary ballets. So, sinasamahan natin nga ng minsan ng hip-hop yung ballet. So, yung music na pineplay is faster than the original na ballet songs para mas maging lively and creatively yung sayo na gagawin. So, including sa work niya is The Amada, Tales of Manuyu, Bayanihan, uh, Remembered, Ramahari, and At A Maranao Gathering. So, yan yung mga, uh, mga ilan sa mga ginawa niya mga dances or kinoreograph na mga dances. So, tandaan lang na she interweaved the different kinds of dance which are the modern, ethnic, and the ballet dance. Okay? And then, the last one for the field of dance is Miss Leonor Gongquinco. 
So, Leonor Gong Queen ko, sorry, the link is wrong. So, uh, what is all about Leonor Gong Queen ko? Ayan. So, in the ma- dub as the trailblazer or mother of Philippine theater dance and dean of Filipino performing arts critics. Okay? So, para siyang highest, kumbaga, dean yung sinasabi sa kanya, mother of Philippine theater. Okay? So, mostly theatrical performance yung uh, ginagawa niya ng choreography. So, Orosa Gongquin ko brought native folk dance mirroring Philippine culture from pagan to modern times to its highest stage of development. So, yun yung mga ginawa niya, uh, mga Filipino uh, culture depicted from, he- from her dances. So, her works include Pilipinescas, Philippine Life, Legend and Lore, Trend, Return to Native, and in a Javanese garden, sports, vinta, etc. So, marami siyang ginawang uh, dances which uh, sa pangalan pa lang or title pa lang ng dances, makikita natin yung Philippine culture natin. So, mga legends and lores, mga theatrical performance na yan. So, siya yung naging founder. So, these are the notable Filipino dancers that made the significant contributions to contemporary dance. Okay? So now let's go to the last part of our discussion which is all about the visual artists who made significant contribution in the development of contemporary arts in our country. Okay, so the last part of our discussion as I have told you is all about the Filipino visual artists who made significant contributions to the development of the Philippine uh, contemporary arts. So actually we have 10 Okay, so kasi sina- pinagsama-sama na dito yung uh, different artists which uh, uh, made significant contributions in um, uh, visual arts which includes not only the painting but also the sculpture and architecture. So let's start with them. Uh, I think he's the most famous uh, visual artist in the Philippines, Fernando Amorsolo. Okay, so let's find out kung hindi niya pa siya kanila. So, Fernando Amorsolo was uh, declared as the Filipino na first national artist in painting in 1972, which was the founding year of the uh, National Artist Award by NCCACCP, di ba? 1972 siya nagsimula. And siya yung kauna-unahang declared as the Filipino Ar- National Artist for Painting. So actually, ang mga works niya ay nakikita natin sa iba't ibang buildings, iba't ibang galleries, or sa mga offices uh, because his trademark was backlighting technique, okay? which makes the subject of his painting seem to glow. Okay? So yung mga painting niya parang uh, when you see it at a glance, okay? or when you glance at it, sa isang tingin, gambaga, it's parang madadaya ka or makikita mo na parang silang uh, nag-glow or nag-shine. Uh, out of the background na kung nasaan sila. So, yung kanyang fam- famous works include The Planting Rice. Ito yun. Okay. So, The Lagang Bukid. Okay, hindi lang nakita dyan. Ito yun. And The uh, Maiden in a Stream. Okay. So, yung mga naglalaba. So, di ba nga sabi ko sa inyo sa lesson number one, ang uh, mga landscape paintings or portrait paintings na ginagawa ng mga contemporary artists is mostly based on daily lives. Okay, so mga pang-araw-araw na buhay, mga pang-araw-araw na ginagawa ng mga Filipinos are depicted in the paintings of the Filipino artists. So, isa na nga din si uh, Fernando Amorsolo which depicted the uh, daily lives of Filipinos which included planting rice, caring for a child, and uh, washing their clothes on the riverside. Okay, so, yan yung mga daily lives ng mga uh, mga old Filipinos or mga old ways of living ng mga Filipino people. Pero actually ngayon naman na uh, uh, hindi na nga lang masyado yung itong paglalaba sa river stream kasi nga may mga advanced technologies na tayong ginagamit. Pero may mga ilan pa rin naman na mga ethnic groups or cultural groups na gumagawa pa rin yan. So that is for Hernando Amorsolo. Next one is Hernando Ocampo. Okay, so what is the significant contribution of this man? So he developed a new style of abstraction through his use of fierce and striking colors. So kung si Fernando Amorsolo, ang kanyang technique is backlighting or making the 
uh, the subject of his paintings shine look shine as they appear on their on his uh, canvas uh, for Hernan Ruiz Ocampo his technique was abstraction okay so abstraction using strike and first colors so di ba mga abstract painting ganun to yung mga nakikita natin itsura nila yung mga dark colors which are uh, complementing each other and then makikita mo na lang as you look closely or look carefully there are images form or there are images form in your brain and makikita mo yung team uh, kanyang mga um, yung mga syempre yung mga paintings niya kung gagamit siya ng striking colors of course the teams will be um, maybe uh, mga heavy teams like and yes sasabihin dito yung Genesis Calvary or yung pag uh, Calvary of Jesus slum dwellers or yung mga 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 poor ones na nasa slums or nagde-dwell sa kalsada fiesta pwede rin naman so di ba may mga big events din naman doon may mga significant events na pwedeng gamitan ng iba't ibang colors So, siya yung nag-introduce ng abstraction or abstract painting in our country. So, that is Mr. Hernando Ruiz Ocampo. So, tandaan, Fernando Amorsolo, technique used was backlighting. For Hernando Ocampo, the technique used was the striking and first colors and abstract painting. Third one is Benedicto Uh, Cabrera or most commonly known as Mr. Ben Cab. Okay, so Mr. Ben Cab was tagged as the master of Philippine contemporary arts. Okay, so yun yung kanyang uh, ta- uh, tag name sa kanya, Philippine contemporary art. So his popular works include Sabel, which depicts poverty and inequalities in the Philippine society. And other works include Madonna with Sabel. Ayun niya, ito yun. Si Madonna. Kung meron sa ibang bansa, di ba, meron tayong Madonna and Child yata yun. Uh, something like that. So, meron din tayo sa Pilipinas. Madonna with objects, rather. Sa list of Sabel, people waiting. Ito yun. Uh, sorry, hindi pala nakita. Dito yun. Waiting for the monsoon. Okay, so, yan yung mga techniques na makikita nyo. Uh, meron siyang halong abstractionism, di ba? Makikita ninyo sa constructing of colors niya. And uh, most niya ang pinapakita niya is face. Okay? Yung emotions dun sa kanyang painting. Do kasi kay uh, sa una nating artist na pinakita, uh, medyo hindi ganun kita yung mga face. Pero dito kay Ben Caba, is kita na yung face para maip- maipakita yung expression ng character or ng subject na nasa painting. So again, Ben Cab, Mr. Ben Cab was tagged as the master of Philippine contemporary arts. Okay? Next one is Carlos Francisco or Carlos Botong Francisco. Okay? He painted mural showing historical past of the Philippines. Okay? So compared dun sa unang tatlo, Fernando Amorsolo, Hernando Ruiz Ocampo, and Mr. Ben Cab, Uh, Botong Francisco is known for his murals. So, pag sinabi natin murals, yun yung mga malalaking painting na makikita sa mga walls, sa ceiling, ng mga uh, mga different buildings or structures. Most of his subjects depict uh, the life in his hometown and highlight the lives of uh, farmers and the fishermen. Okay, so, mostly farmers and fishermen. So, the significance in Francisco Botong's um, Carlos Botong Francisco's drawings were their lines and shapes that seem like cutouts and their lush tropical cutouts. Okay, so yun yung kanyang ginagamit na style or technique. So mga common works niya or popular works is the Martyrdom of Rizal. Ito yun. So yung pinarizal sa, sa Bagong Bayan. Sandugo or Blood Kampak. Okay, hindi lang nakita dyan sa picture. and Portrait of Rita and First Mass and Limasawa. Okay, so yan yung mga significant events during uh, the Spanish time. So ilan yan sa mga works ni Carlos Botong Francisco. Okay, fifth one is Mr. Francisco Cochin. Okay, so Mr. Francisco Cochin, saan kaya siya sikat? He is uh, regarded as the Dean of Filipino illustr- Illustrators and was popular for his comics. Okay, so comics naman itong implahan or uh, 
uh, genre ni Mr. Francisco Coaching. So sa unang apat, meron tayong uh, painting na landscape painting, meron tayong abstraction, may nagpo-focus sa face, may nagpo-focus sa murals. So naman, comic strips yung kanyang ginagawa. Okay? So ang themes ng kanyang ginagawa is fantasy, love, and adventure. Ano pa? Uh, mga inspiration niya sa mga awit and corrido, sa mga sikat na mga palabas or mga kwento, mga ganyan. His work illustrated gallant men and beautiful ladies and the victory of good over evil. Okay, so yung mga, yun yung highlights niya, di ba? Mga, ayan, mga, makikita nyo naman sa mga posters na to or sa pinaka front page ng comic strip is yung mga lalaki and mga, mga babae is on their perfect physique. Okay. And then, the uh, victory of good over evil. So, pinakita yun sa kanyang uh, comics ng Lapu-Lapu, Pedro Penduco, Hagilis, and El Nido and Maldita. So, ito yun. So, ilan yan sa mga sikat na comics na ginawa ni Mr. Francisco Cochin. Okay. So, alam naman natin, ay, iba dyan, alam pa natin yung sa life ni Lapu-Lapu and Pedro Penduco. Okay. So, these are the first five of the Philippine National Artists for the Visual Arts. We go to the next five. We have Cesar Legaspi. Okay? Who is Cesar Legaspi and what is his contribution? Mr. Cesar Legaspi indigenized Cubism and produced artworks showing local temperament and promoted modern arts in the country. So, yun yung kanyang contribution. He promoted modern arts in our country. So, his works include The Beggars, The Stairways, The Ritual, The Survivor, Gadget 1 and 2, Flight, Struggle, Peace, Bayanihan, Pasad, Overy, Idols of the Third Eye. So, makikita nyo medyo dark yung theme niya sa mga paintings niya. May mga iba't ibang taong makikita figures. Kasi nga din yung defect niya is story and mostly modernized na yung kanyang Artwork. So that is for Mr. Cesar Legaspi. Next, we have Abdul Mari. Sorry, that it's not Abdul Maria. It's Abdul Mari Asha Imau. Okay, so, bakit yaga yun yung pangalan niya? So, pag nakarinig tayo ng Abdul, so mostly, di ba? It is from Muslim origin. Because Abdul Mari Asha Imau articulated the Muslim culture because it is his. Uh, origin or it is his uh, religion. So, mga works niya is Brass Mural of the Philippine National Bank. So, he's also a, sculpt a sculptor. Uh, Industrial Mural of the Central Bank of the Philippines. And Mural Relief in the Film Making Painted in Manila City Hall. Okay. So, ang ginagawa niya is combination of murals and sculptures. Okay. So, dalawa yung kanyang fields of uh, profession or interest. Next one is Mr. Guillermo Tolentino. Is Mr. Guillermo Tolentino introduced classical structure in the country. Okay, so mga uh, structures din ginagawa niya siya sa isang sculptor. So ang works niya is monuments and bust figure. Pag sinabing bust yung uh, parang thorax or head part hanggang dito sa may uh, balikat yung ginagawa niya mga figures which include the uh, bas figures of Jose Rizal and Andres Bonifacio uh, and other presidents like Manuel L. Quezon and Ramon Magsaysay and the popular UP Oblation which stands for Academic Freedom. So, yan yung mga ginagawa ni Mr. Guillermo Tolentino. Fourth and uh, next to the last is Vicente Manansala. Okay, so what are the works of Mr. Vicente Manansala? He is also a cubist painter who painted a wide variety of subject matters from happy and bountiful rural and poverty striking urban area setups. Okay, so ang pinagkukumpara niya sa kanyang works, so meron siyang for rural or for the province and the urban or for the city. So pinapakita niya yung happy life, bountiful harvest in the rural area and the uh, Poverty that is being experienced by the people living in the urban areas. So, mga works niya ito, Mother and Child, Nipahat, Market Vendor, Believe in God, I Believe in God, 
via cruises and many more. So, tandaan nyo lang, rural and urban yung kanyang ginagawa. And then, last one, we have Mr. Napoleon Abueva. Okay? So, I think you know this man as well kasi naririnig nyo din siya. He is father of modern Philippine sculpture. So, itong work na to, mga pamilyar kayo, So, who made use of wide range of materials in his works like different types of hardwood, stones, and metal. So, iba't iba yung mga uh, raw materials na ginagamit niya. He was also the sculptor who started the trend in mixing different materials like metal and stone in mixing sculpture. Okay, so pinag-mix niya rin minsan. So, ang works niya is the nine muses. Ito yun. Uh, Kaganapan, Station of the Cross, yung iba't ibang stations na yun, the 14 stations. Sunburst and the Transfiguration. Ito yun. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is the one uh, malapit sa ating Kabantuan City Terminal, Transport Terminal, uh, in the Serenity Gardens. Okay. Kung hindi man yan yun, uh, kahawig niya nung sculpture na ganyan, makikita nyo. And that is the Transfiguration. Yun yung kanyang pangalan. So those were the different uh, Philippine national artists for in the field of visual arts, whether it's painting, and sculpture or architecture okay and this ends our discussion for the different uh, filipino artists who made significant contribution to the art uh, fields which are the music dance and the visual arts now if you want to learn more about our lesson you can open the file on your flash drive with the file name philippine artists and their contribution to contemporary arts If you have questions about our discussion or about the activities found on your learning packet, you can contact me during our consultation time. But if you do not have any more questions, you can now start answering activity 2 to 3 on your assessment sheets. Okay? And also, do not forget to answer the values integration on your learning packet or to read the values integration on your learning packet. Okay? Artists play one of the most important roles in the society. They can reshape our world into a better place, where once again, freedom of thought and real communication can be disseminated through art and the universal language of realism. With diligence and effort, a picture is once again worth a thousand words, versus needing a thousand words to explain it. Right? Okay. So that's it for our discussion for this video. I hope you learned well in our lesson. And I'm leaving you with this Bible verse. But now, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are Father. We are all the work of your hand. Coming from Isaiah 64, 8. That's it for our week number 2 for contemporary Philippine arts from the Rejoice. Once again, I'm Mr. Rolsey Franco, your top teacher. Thank you for listening and happy learning.